For several years, Delilah's been here, getting stronger, turning people against me. Why didn't I see it coming? What was I doing during that time? Pretending to listen at court, ruling through an army of bureaucrats, waiting for the next chance to get free of Dunwall Tower. Well, now I'm free. If only I could go back. Aramis Stilton was once an ally of the Duke. The owner of Karnaka's mines, Stilton lived in a fortified bunker at the heart of the Dust District. No one's seen him for years, since around the time Delilah started making her moves. But whether Stilton's alive or dead, his home holds the key to Delilah's immortality. As I was for a time. With Ashworth eliminated, that should hamper Delilah's plans. Years ago, making his out in the city, but I'll explain. So many years, I never expected to feel so tired. I came to Karnaka for the food and the clean air. Now this... Visiting the Royal Conservatory got us closer to- I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. 
Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first. Through a ruin created by the Duke, where my father grew up. Megan had an intriguing idea. Howlow is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy. And they'll treat you like family. You think they'll help me get into Aramis Stilton's home? I'm pretty sure that will work. Seeing this place and these people, I can feel my perspective changing. How will I be different after this? The Dust District. Hmm. I've read about the winds coming through the cleft in Shindere Peak. How the city uses it for windmills and mining operations. Paolo's not that old, but there's so much living written into the lines of his face. The Vice Overseer for Karnaka, Liam Byrne. Aramis Stilton's home looks more like a bunker than a mansion. Who was the man I'm after? Aramis Stilton? An ally to the old Duke. Loyal and smart. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Started as a miner, and worked his way up until he was a prince of industry. But now, the new Duke drives the mine crews night and day. Dust falls non-stop onto the district, but was once prosperous. Is now in ruins. I suppose the Duke doesn't care, as long as he sips from silver cups. And what are the cups at Dunwall Tower made from, Empress? In any case, you'll have to pass through the Dust District to reach Stilton's home. Maybe he's still in there, or maybe he's dead. Once you reach the Dust District, she'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the Dreadful Whale after you finish.
It's odd that none of our squads patrol through the dust district anymore. Dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. She was one of the Duke's distant cousins or something. Shit. Let's hope they do enough damage to each other so the fight goes out. That won't happen until someone manages to kill either Paolo or Vice Overseer Burr. And I don't see you or me beating a pad to the crone's hand or up to the temporary stronghold the Abbey's got set up. Silver dust out of my ears. Grand Palace. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. Think about it. She could be reading the letter right now. Hear these damn windmills in my sleep. was a man from old land. What about that kiss? His cockle was... Oh, really oh that kiss. Oh. He tugged on it nightly. Once they say something's a mess, then I just can't get comfortable. Grew to be large as a narwhal. I wonder if the rumors are true about the crown killer. The old Empress, really? Yeah. What a bunch of degenerates. Yeah. Yeah. Stuck with that leg, that's what. Who's there?
their smell. Going back to Dunwall stirred up memories. Things I'd almost forgotten. Almost. Hello, Emily. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you had an idea. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Burn, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. What else do you know that might help me? Burn is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Shut up tight like this, but what do you think? Can you crack it? Give me a minute. Durante knows how to get in here. Paolo had him feeding old Stilton or watching him. I was gonna pay him off for the secret, but Durante got beat down by the overseers and taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any seams. Jenny's sister says it's a gimmick, like he weren't a real locksmith who made it. No, this was built by Karen Jindosh. Scary smart. He was the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, I can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money, I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. You up for a beer later? <sighs> You bet. Came to see the infamous Jindosh lock, did you? Good luck with that. <laughs> Impossible.
place be any different had I not passed from the world? He was there, the next he was gone. The doctors were swarming with rats. That's a trick I need to learn. It's not like that. Mm-hmm. 